news flash in case you live under a rock and haven't heard already uh one of the world's largest most powerful terrorists was just killed Soleimani is now dead what do i say about it good fucking riddance because you know what there's a special place in hell waiting for assholes like this anyway Let's go ahead and listen to one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Graham Allen, and see what he has to say, because I'm sure it's going to be pure YouTube gold. Donald Trump, our president, my president, your president, just took out the number two most powerful person in Iran. If you don't know, Iran is the number one recruiter slash supporter of terrorism in the world. Iran is without a doubt one of the worst places in the history of the world. And this guy deserves not to be here in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Amen. I'm the only one that woke up this morning and is not upset at all that this dude is no longer breathing. Nope. I'm singing hallelujah. fucking Luya. In fact, they had to identify his body by the ring he wears on his hand. Because that's how bad we messed him up. However, watching the Democratic Party today, this morning, in news of these events, defend Iran is something that every single American should be ashamed of and think about come voting day. Democrats hate Donald Trump so much that they would rather defend Iran than support the president for taking out this cowardly. And not even just that, I've got to say, one of the things that has made my blood boil so much in the past 24 fucking hours, Rose fucking McGowan. Not only is she a shitty fucking actress, she's a shitty person. The bitch has the nerve to fucking apologize to Iran, okay? Apologize! Bitch, do your fucking job and entertain us. You are hired to entertain, not give us your political bullshit. Okay? Do your fucking job. This horrible monster animal of a person that's a terrorist that support the president. What the crap? That <laughs> this dude has killed, that means kill, Americans. Would you rather we still had Barack Obama and just send them billions of dollars in unmarked bills in pallets in the middle of the night so they could just continue on murdering Americans? Would that make you happy? No! I would rather have a president that actually has a freaking backbone. Unlike Barack Obama, Amen. God knows Hillary Clinton, who would have just... Amen! Hillary Clinton was responsible for fucking Benghazi and Obama will go down in history as the worst president ever. Ever. Left everything. Oh, we don't want to upset anybody. We'll just give you some money and it'll all be okay. Shut up. There are bad <laughs> people in the world that need to be handled. Yeah, like Ilhan Omar. If you are not American enough to deal with that fact and stand with America, when we stand in the face of tyranny and say, absolutely not, we will take you out, then pack your bags and move to Iran. Amen. Amen. Like I said, I am so sick of the Democratic Party and with people in the Senate and in our Congress, like Ilhan Omar, who are allowed to get away with the anti-Semitic bullshit that they say on a regular basis. They need to be voted out. It's time for the right, the Republicans conservatives, even if there are even a such thing, the normal thinking Democrats need to come together, vote them out, start fucking over, because this bullshit is clearly what I just said. It's just flat out bullshit. 